Welcome back everyone. So we've got another episode of Friday Night Lights and this is episode 12. And it's called, What to Do While You're Waiting. I don't really know, check my phone. Yeah. See no one's messaged me, get upset. Contemplate life. Cry. Yeah. Quit the channel. <laughs> Leave right now. <laughs> Coach dropped off Saracen. Yeah. And had a good chat with him, didn't he, before he dropped him off. Yeah. Um, After him and his father had a big bust up of the game. Played been... terribly, got dropped. Yes. Yeah. QB comes in, smashes it up. Um, don't know if that's... <laughs> Sounds illegal. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if that's... I don't know if he's going to have a pot. Don't know. I don't think he'll get dropped for one bad game, especially as Coach knows what's going on. Yeah, that and is now, true. now, like, I think his dad sort of saw the towards the end, like, yeah, I think he came to his senses. Street's going to fall out of his family, I think, over this lawsuit against... Yeah. Coach Taylor. Because he's not uh, going to go against Coach Taylor. No, nah, sure I can't see it happening. Um, yeah. um, I think that was the real reason he went to his house. Maybe he ended up speaking to Mrs. Mrs. Coach, Coach yeah. about um, Lila instead. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was actually going there about this lawsuit. But yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. Let's go. Let's take a look. And if he can help his team overcome Powerhouse Arnett Mead, our Panthers will be in the playoffs. Mm. The clock is ticking and it is on. Out of their hands, him. Yeah. Just wait well, Morgan, see if Buckley beats our net meat this Friday or not, gentlemen. Some things you can control, some things you cannot. What happens, happens. The way I see it, Buckley needs to play Den. Ain't got nothing on me, but he cold blooded. <laughs> hey, where you going? I got a Trump in these polishers. He must realize that questions are going to be asked when there <laughs> is no SATs exam. Yeah. Was it a SATs exam? Oh, the yeah, SATs. Yeah. Sets. You think Arnett Mead could possibly lose? They're favored by a lot, but Buckley does have Denny in it. And I hope Denny kicks Arnett Mead's ass, because I'd like to see a QB in that playoff game. I'm not gonna go back to Iraq. Wow, that's a U-turn. Yeah, if that's all right with you. All right with him, that's the break he needed. That's gonna take the pressure off Matt a lot. Definitely, yeah. Honey, will you just think about something else? It's okay. What do you want me to think about? <laughs> she is brilliant. To that, be honestly, I love them two together. They're so good. You know what? There is nothing else to think about. Oh, you think about how much you love me? That's a good idea. <laughs> Coach Eric Taylor. Hi. Yeah. Oh, the lawyer. Yeah. Oh no. Is he a lawyer? Sis. You've been served. Serving him with some papers. Served by who? Jason Street's family. What? Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, do you think old Buckley's got a shot against Arnett Mead? Well, now we're never gonna know. No. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I could imagine that knocked the wind out. Like yeah. I, said, I do think he was coming to warn him though, but then he wasn't there. Yeah, and he obviously didn't want to speak to Mrs. Coach about it. No, so he decided to talk about the Lila situation. She's good for the uh, advice, though, isn't she? Yeah, he probably could have spoke to her about it to be fair, but yeah. maybe he wanted to tell Coach direct. Yeah, feels like the sort of thing Coach would do, you know. Tyra, I forgot about her. Yeah, same. What was Tyra doing last? The last time I remember her, she was telling Riggins anyone but her. I can't believe they would sue us. You raised Jason Street. You raised him on that football field. How could they possibly blame you for what happened? Probably advised to do it by the lawyers. It's not personal. You just got to look at it that way. I wish I had his full process in life. Do you know what I mean? He's so logical, isn't he? Such a logical thinker. Right now, I'd have a whiteboard set up working out exactly <laughs> why I'm being targeted. <laughs> 15 suspects. That's it. Is he off to? Is he going back to the music shop? No. Morning, Clint. Regular store. A big game Friday night. I got some uh, interesting theories on Arnett Mead. If you can't shoot the ball today, I got a lot of work waiting in the back. Oh, he's going to get the cold shoulder from people because of the lawsuit. Yes. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll leave the money on the counter. Uh, you were quick on that, weren't you? Mm. I can't even work out where he's going. Hopefully to Coach's house. So, how's the uh, job hunt going? Not really a boom town here. I'm gonna speak to somebody about my mother's coverage. Her name is Lorraine Saracen. Jason Street should not be suing the Panthers. What, they bought him some flowers, game of football. Yeah, you know, I'm sure that just about covers everything. Honey. Yes, sir. Uh... Like your own coffee. Yeah, it seems a bit weird. Man, you ladies have a genetically superior ass that runs in this family. Why would he be looking at her ass? That's He's weird. a bit weird, isn't he? I'm guessing that's not her dad, but... No, um, no, she called him Bob, blue. didn't she? Oh, okay. Now everyone's just gonna Jason, hate you, thanks a lot. You knew we had no choice. You, had you don't go against the Panthers in this town, and you know that. You said it was a bad idea! To give you what you need to survive right now? We need money. I'm so sorry I have to put you through this. Coach should have put you through tackling drills, right? Maybe you should have. Put that one round already. 
I don't know. Was he meant to put him through tackling drills? I don't actually even know. I have no idea. It sounds logical, to be fair, but I, I don't know. The annual Women's Booster League Rodeo Fundraiser and Fair. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> There's always something going on, isn't there? Yeah. But you know what? These women work hard. It's a good cause. Now, let's go have some fun. Is he off to find his daughter? Oh, really? That guy. Gay. How you doing, sir? What can I do for you? Oh, is he trying to get his dad a job? Oh, maybe, yeah. Those are just people. You're my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> dad has decided to stay here in Dillon. He needs to be working here. I, I was just curious if maybe you, if you know of anything. You send your daddy over to me and I'll take care of him. Th thank you so much, Mr. Gary. Oh, well, you're welcome, son. That was easy. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me, <laughs> given the way he operates. It could still be a bit fishy, because can you just decide not to go back to Iraq? Surely, they, surely think, it's a whole process. I think they said to him he was at a stage where he could retire and get uh, okay. a pension. Oh, uh, okay. That would make sense then. I'm so sorry. I don't know who or what's behind this. I know it's not you. I, I just didn't know what else to do. Expenses are astronomical. You know that's going to get you nowhere. I'm not so sure that's the case. What are you going to do? You're going to sue the school? What are you going to prove? It was nobody's fault. I cannot talk to you. They're not suing the school, they're suing you. Oh, does he not realise yeah. that? Hell, I don't want to sue anyone. It's killing me to do this. Since I'm already dead, it doesn't matter anyway, now does it? Just get the hell out of here, coach. Get out of here. It's hard because you can see like they are screwed. And they are. There is no way to cover the expenses. Whether their lawsuit's going to be legit or exaggerated is where... Yeah. Henry, very nice to meet you, sir. We are very proud to have our very own quarterback's dad on our team. <laughs> I just don't trust Buddy. It seems a bit... Yeah. It's Buddy, though, isn't it? It's... Oh, imagine he starts getting him to wash cars and stuff after serving in Iraq. Uh... How's the tuba looking? Bright and shiny like your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> How's the endless speculation? <laughs> walk out on you. You weren't talking to me anyway. I was sitting right next to you. <laughs> he literally was not talking to us. No, She's not I know. Number one, don't nobody walk out on Smash. Oh, good. The return of the third person. The Waverly has better things to do. I do like you. I just, I don't think we have anything in common. Yeah, we do. I think he likes her, but he's used to women falling at his feet and like, just girls that would just sit there while he talks football with the boys. And he, they're literally, it's because she's pieing him. That's what's making him want her more. Yeah. We'll give the waiver lash one last try. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, that meant to me. My grandma called and she thought that there was this really big mouse in the house. So I started cleaning up and then I remember that I had to get dinner ready before my dad gets home. So I gotta okay, how about you help. make dinner and I'll make your grandma some tea. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Well, thanks. Would now be a bad time to tell you that I told Smash that we double date with him and Waverly? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. No. He's a dick. Yeah, you could tell from one word out of his mouth, he was a complete no. You know why people leave you? Because you drive people crazy! Shut up, my ways! Oh, I thought that was coming, you know. Tara's gonna kill him. Is that a fire poker she's got? Yeah. Oh, no, now he's got it. Get out! Get out! Do it! Get out! Get out! Do you know what? Knowing what I've Dick is. I did think when they started arguing, I wonder if he would go that far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I knew Tyra wasn't going to stand for that. I love you guys. And you guys are the best parents in the world. Good night. I'm so confused. I think it's because the dementia thing. Right. I think she realised she take maybe maybe she takes them for granted. <laughs> Julie? He was already like, happy with it. <laughs> she was so like, terrible when yeah. that stuff happens, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. He's just by himself doing the cooking and the cleaning and he has school and work. I feel like it's just going to crush him. He's like a little stink bug. He can't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Have him come see me at school. Okay. Yes. What do you mean she's the best? What about me? <laughs> you called him a stink bug. <laughs> I'm just not used to being alone. But you're not alone. You got me. Yeah, it's a hard one when, you, when you're when you so scared of being alone, so you part up with things you shouldn't part with. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, about you, but I've been there before. Um, it's not nice. Something a lot of people have, isn't it? It's yeah. In relationships that don't even really want to be in. Yeah, it's, it's toxic, but... Don't want to be on their own. Yeah, exactly. I think you might be right. Is he not going to get the sales that are needed and it's going to lead to like him being downgraded or something? Don't know. He right away now, it's no way. I thought they were ready to take delivery when I handed them to you. 
turned out it wasn't a good time for them financially. It's never a bad time with 5.9% financial. I got an idea. Come with me. I'd like for you to, to wear this, and it'll just help to remind people that you've served this country for 20 years. I don't know if I think that was right, using that to sell cars. I mean, you are what you are, and that's something to be proud of. I don't think it's weird when he hired him for a salesman as well. Like, I mean, that's a very it takes a very particular type of person to be a salesman. Yeah, yeah definitely. You have to talk a lot of rubbish, you know. That's why you make great sales. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if you're honest, it sells a salesman. You are, but you also have to be. You also have to just. You have to present it in a particular way. Hmm. I don't know if he's got that ability. No, he can hmm. be the greatest product in the world, but not everyone will be able to sell it. Yep. Hey, Dad. How was the uh, How was the first day of work? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. You sell a bunch of cars? Actually, no. So what are you doing out here? Honestly, I was just kind of wishing that Arnett me loses to Buckley and then we get to go to the playoffs. What is all that? This is some kind of frozen casserole. My mom made it. You just do so much that I just thought you could use some help out. He does do so much. Yeah, you could definitely do with someone like that that cares. He's trying. What else can you really ask of anyone? Just keep thinking what Coach said. <laughs> They're a stink bug. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, dare you, man. I did one of those mechanical balls at someone's party once, and um, yeah. I wasn't invited, I just turned up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, uh, got the minute. Did you? Yeah, man. Nice. Then the guy put it up to ridiculous setting and it launched me off, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm getting gray hair over this on that mead game. Forget how good you are, what you do. That's the problem, it's not up to me. I know, we gotta go the road. Sorry, here. I know. Mac goes to foreign art films with you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Smash this too? He thought it was really interesting. <laughs> She's fully embedded in this. <laughs> oh no. I never known a girl like this. Like, like what? Like she won't pay attention to me, but I know she likes me. Yeah, there you go, see? It's just because he can't get. I want to pay attention to her. I want her to pay attention to me. <laughs> if you like her, maybe you should get used to a new way. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Mom. Did you ever think of moving out of Dylan? Didn't leave Dylan. I moved to Dallas when I was 18. I fell in love with your father. Came up here to visit, and he wasn't going to go to Dallas, so... Oh, he did come back. Bob's back on the scene. Just one second, honey. Hopefully she tells him where to go. Hopefully she sees sense. No, nah, I don't think she's going to. She was in bed, upset that he hadn't come back. A day's passed. Oh, no. He just was always there, isn't he? Yeah, staring at women. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's crazy how quick the tables turn in the town of Dylan. Tyra, people have fights. Oh. Oh no. People do have fights. They don't have fights every day. They don't let men beat the hell out of them. Don't look at me like that, honey. You know, I love you more than anything in this world. You're an amazing woman and you are a damn good mother. God, you are such a loser when it comes to men. It was pretty obvious she was going to take him back though, wasn't it? If he comes back, I'm moving out. Tyra, don't be I'm silly. serious. Not the ultimatum. Mm. I don't agree with ultimatums. I think you say to someone, if he comes back, I'm moving out, but yeah. then you make it your decision, you know? Yeah. Not the whole reverse of, it's on you, basically. Yeah. Who'd you say you saw perform at the concert? <laughs> <laughs> He's never going to be able to keep this lie up. What were they called? Um, Do you even know? Do you ever hang out with Matt and Julie? Uh, what happens? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm smashed. Who wants to see me take all this sorry ass arm wrestling chat? <laughs> she's not going to be impressed by that. No. Nope. Come on, baby, let's go. Nah, I'd say he's blown that for now. Yep. Oh, my, he's still stalking. <laughs> Rings on the prowl, yeah. You okay? Not really. Technically homeless all of a sudden. Yeah. That's wrong. My mom's going to be an idiot and let that jerk back into our house. You know, it's a trait in the women in my family that just drives men crazy. I am truly sorry for everything that has happened, for what I've put you through. And if you would even consider giving me a second chance, Tyra. She can't. Nah, surely not. Not after what she just said to her mum, right? Mm. I'd be a hypocrite, you know? Yeah. He's just wasted the last two hours of his life. Making up that little sentence. <laughs> Following her around. Yeah. <laughs> He has actually done some really creepy stuff in this, to be fair. Like, climbed in Thingy's window, 
Stalks out his best mate's girlfriend. Clearly had her all along. Mm-hmm. You're right about yeah. him. Yeah, with no context, all those things are a bit weird. Yeah, they? I know. <laughs> oh, did he actually think she was still going to be yeah, there? Yeah, he's, he's so dumb. Like, he's not learning anything. I mean, there's believing the hype and then believing the hype. Mm. This time. Let's have a chat, coach. Come on, one of you move towards the other. Don't take this into another episode. It's gonna. Oh, it's not gonna cliffhanger on it, is it? I know, Lila's there as well. Oh. Kick! He's got the ball! No one in front of him! He's gonna score! He will win. The 20! The 10! Touchdown! We're going to the playoffs. Coach wasn't even celebrating. Nah, he's got too much going on. Yeah. He's relieved. Yeah, he's happy. None of those errors are going to matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Coach can just see him attack his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually see it? No. no. <laughs> I know you truly are an all-powerful God to let such a crap team win. If it's your will, let us win state, dear God. Coach, listen, uh, I just came out here to let you know, no matter what anyone says, it was not in my hands. Now you'll always be my coach. I think he needed to hear that. Yeah. Going good. How are you doing? Good. Can I interest you in that? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you hate it here. Then I'll get used to it. I don't think you need to. Is he going to tell him to go back? You can go back to Iraq. I know how much it means. It's okay. You have no legal Dad, guardian. I don't know that I can let you not agree to that. It's not really much of a car salesman, am I? Yeah, but you're a really good soldier. Did you really think that I would choose a man over my daughter? Well, I wouldn't. Oh, good for her. Yeah, I mean, it's for the best for her mum. He has definitely straight up forgotten that he has ripped off the church, hasn't he? Yeah. I love being a star. I can't help it. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's just who I am. It's how God made me. I like you a lot, Waverly. If you don't like me for me, then I gotta live with it because I can't be nobody but to smash. <laughs> <laughs> See, just be yourself. She doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. It's... I'll see you around, Smash. Fair enough. The future, maybe, but yeah. Fair enough. <clears throat> that's how it should be. Yeah, just be honest, and if they don't like you, that's fine. Can't pretend to be something you're not. No, I don't. Unlike us, like, everyone, not everyone's going to like you. You know what I mean? Everyone loves us, but we're different, so. <laughs> I think you're more popular than me. <laughs> <laughs> and then fate takes a turn around the backyard, and suddenly, it is all up to you. I think she's just happy that he's finally been honest. Yeah. That's why she's smiling. Yeah, she ain't got to kid herself anymore. No. Yeah, it's what it is. Basically, just laid it down. He's not going to change. Then she got a decision. Yeah, but it was on good terms. Maybe something down the line. They might get together. You never know. But yeah. No, I don't really see any long-term potential there, to be honest. He needed that money, like, desperately, because it was, like, ridiculous. And, like, $300 a week. Yeah. How come he's not having to yeah. rip off? Like, one that. little rip-off, and now all of a sudden he's absolutely fine. Like, how much money was there from the church? Has he done them for about 20 grand? No, like, it was his handouts. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was his handouts. So yeah, he'd got to be needing another fix. So has he got some sort of debt building up? Like, right. because he paid up once, she's happy to, like... That's a big plot hole, though. Like, because where yeah. is that money coming from? Exactly. Is he still working at the chicken place? I'm he not even is. sure Saracen still works there if it wasn't for the fact Coach's daughter reminds us every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> I was starting to think, I ain't seen him in that chicken hat for a while. No. And his best friend's gone missing. <laughs> I think the writer's strike must have started already, man. <laughs> no, to be fair, I mean, if I was Saracen, I wouldn't know who my best friend. I wouldn't know where you were either. No. <laughs> if I had all that going on. Oh, yeah, no, he... Uh, Jesus, yeah. He can't keep doing that. I can't believe he's sending his dad no. back to Iraq. I mean, that's nuts. Yeah. He needs crazy. help. Unless he's planning on moving in Coach's daughter, which is going to go, that'd be funny. Yeah, that's Coach's right. daughter moves in, Coach's going to do his nut. I'm moving him, I'm moving him and Matt. <laughs> No, the hell you're not. But yeah, uh, I, I kind of get it with his dad because he doesn't want to be there. So yeah. he's not really any help. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, just yeah. more of a burden on Matt now because now we've got this awkwardness and like in yes. the house, which is just, Matt's still doing everything he was doing before. Yeah. Because dad doesn't want to be there. I mean, he's trying, but he, yeah. he just hasn't he's adjusted. Struggling to settle him. He hasn't adjusted, yeah. Nah. I'm glad the street and coach had that moment. Though. I think coach really needed to hear those words yeah. because 
after he really felt like it wasn't personal, then he spoke to Street's dad and Mr. Street made him feel like it was personal. Yeah. Saying, not not that it was, but he wasn't going to back down no. and basically, yeah, that got to coach a bit. So I think he, he needed to hear those words from uh, Street, I think. Surely the only nail in the coffin for coach will be Street's testimony. So surely he can say, no, I'm not doing it. Because yeah, he said to yeah. coach, it was not, it's not my doing or whatever, yeah. but it kind of is. I would imagine that's probably where it's going to go. Um, because, yeah, I think he would have to say, and we still don't know if there's a requirement. In fact, yeah, that... that doesn't actually give anything away, but is, is there a requirement? It makes logical sense that you would have to run tackling drills for a quarterback, especially as they're going to be sacked a lot. Yeah. And Do you remember the time frame this is set in, though? Like scrambling. Health and safety is more prevalent these days, which is which is a good thing. Health and safety has is got it? better and better. <laughs> yeah. um, back then, there might not have been a requirement. And oh, if there okay. wasn't a requirement, then yeah, that's yeah, coaches yeah. get out of jail free card. Yeah. If there was. Then well, if there was, I just don't think Coach would be bothered about it at all because um, he would know what's coming. So it makes me wonder whether there potentially should have been some. For, he should have had the tackling drills. Yeah, because um, he is bothered, you can tell. There's, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's week, dead. But... there's definitely a lot weighing on. He talked about the grey hair. I thought he was like taking a mick out of me <laughs> for a second. I put extra gel in. I've had a haircut. I probably look less grey. Do I look less grey? I don't answer, actually. No. There's nothing good that's going to come of that. There's a long outro this one. Ah. Oh, yes, yeah, so, yeah. Shall we get on? Yeah. yeah, thanks for staying with us and for the extra show on the end of the show. Yes. Uh, this was episode one. Let us know if you want to see more of that. And have a great day, whatever you're up to, and we'll see you on the next one.